Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me again here in my channel. I'm Karina and today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite mystery series. I just love mysteries. I have loved them ever since I discovered Agatha Christie, <laughs> uh, which was back in Argentina when I was studying English and um, one of my teachers suggested that she was the only mystery author she read. Well, she is not the only one that I have read. I've read loads of Agatha Christie and um, yeah, she inspires me a lot. I even, you know, I moonlighted back in the day trying to become a mystery author, but yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I just became a YouTuber. Anyway, <laughs> first mystery series that I uh, recommend and you can find all of these in either Netflix or YouTube or, you know, a combination of your whatever uh, cable uh, service you have. Par excellence is Murder, She Wrote with Angela Lansbury. I mean, Jessica Fletcher is, there's no, um, you know, is, there's no mystery, huh? the other pun, um, why it has lasted, that series lasted I don't know, but I think there's like 15 seasons and the seasons of a series back then are not or were not like today where, you know, one season is like eight episodes. Over there, you have like 20, 25 episodes in, a, in you know, in a series. Um, in a season, I'm sorry. So you have extensive, extensive watching to do. Jessica, you know, just, she becomes this, a famous mystery uh, author from Cabot Cove, and then she travels all over the world. She is successful, but she's very sensible. And she has a manner about her, you know, her poise. I've always admired her poise. Um, Angela Lansbury is a very uh, elegant woman and, and chic woman, and regardless of, you know, the role that she plays. So in this series, she's fantastic. I recommend it hundred percent and you will watch it and rewatch it and enjoy it every time. Uh, next one, uh, that I, that it's also been on for ages and it just keeps getting better. <laughs> it's Midsummer Murders. Midsummer Murders is in a British, uh, you know, little town, a uh, fictional town of Midsummer County. And uh, it has John Nettles, stars John Nettles during, I would should say, the first 12 uh, seasons of the series. And then John Nettles eventually retired. This series started in the late 90s. And um, yeah, now it continues with another actor, which name escapes me, but I, I will put it below. But... Um, it's one of these series where they have, I have noticed that they have achieved that the main actor has left the series and it has not impacted the success of the series at all. They, they knew how to carry it very, very well. And I can only commend them for that because that, that is very, very difficult, you know, because especially after so many years, people get used to a character and then suddenly he goes. And it's very, very difficult to, you know, to carry on like that. But they have done it and it's fantastic. And they, they show idyllic, um, you know, um, outdoors in the villages of England. And, and it's just lovely. And some of the uh, episodes can be quite crude. But nevertheless, lovely series, very well done. And I can only hope that it continues. Okay, another one, which I saw, this is a Netflix one, and is uh, original from Spain. So, you know, it's, it's Spanish actors. It's called Altamar, or High Seas is translated in, in English. So far, there's been two seasons. The first one was absolutely fantastic. It's inside a luxury liner in the in the 30s and actually this one is in the 50s i believe because it's post-world war yeah 
just just after the World War. So it's a family, you know, and a luxury liner. Uh, they own that liner, and you know they go into a very high-profile voyage, um, and then there's a murder, obviously. And but the way that it's paced, it just grips you, and you just want to binge watch it all at once. Now they did a second um, season, which you know you already knew more or less what could happen. I mean, they were also already going into the, the you know, uh, transatlantic, and then there's another murder, and, you know, some, so there's no, the element of surprise was gone. But it's no less enchanting, and uh, the costumes, the makeup is fantastic. Uh, every last attention to detail in it. And, of course, if you speak Spanish, si hablan español, Eh, la serie es de España, así que eh, son todos, eh, está hecha en español. If you speak English, you will need to read subtitles, <laughs> but highly recommended. Okay, one that I think has been cancelled uh, already, but has, it was on for years and years, is Blue Bloods, starring Tom Selleck. And um, I really love that Tom Selleck, you know, was able to still be a policeman and, you know, get out of the magnum hat. And I really enjoyed it because I really enjoy the concept of family that is in that series. Blue Bloods is a, you know, takes place in New York and Tom Selleck is the chief of police of the city of New York. So high profile, you know, a man there, but it's about him and his family and they are all into the police business, you know, two of his sons, and um, during the very first season, you will see why it's called Blue Bloods, you know, and, and there's a mystery about it, which is lost in the subsequent seasons. I would have wanted it to continue on that. Um, I'm not going to reveal anymore. <laughs> Just watch it, okay, and you'll see what, what I'm talking about. But I really enjoyed it because it's, yes, it's, a, it's police work, but unlike other series, for instance, like Law and Order, which is entirely focused on that, this one has an entourage of family and, you know, the way each character uh, deals with their own reality within the world of the police uh, family that they are in. Enjoy really that one. Loads of seasons to watch. Of course, uh, going back to Agatha Christie, uh, my favorite ones are Poirot and Miss Marple. And there are many, you know, versions of Poirot and Miss Marple. My favorite Poirot, and I think every single person's favorite Poirot who uh, enjoys, um, you know, Agatha Christie is David Suchet. He just, he just couldn't have done it better. And my favorite um, Miss Marple was the late Joan Hickson. I think Joan Hickson really, really managed to get that character to life. Now, within the series of Joan Hickson, the episodes are from the 80s. My favorite one, which I highly recommend to you, is at Bertram's Hotel. That episode has it all. A uh, style is like you go into a London high-end hotel and you have tea and they show you, you know, how the tea is served with the delicacies that they serve in these London hotels. The experience is captured excellently. And the one other actress that I have to commend from that particular episode is Caroline Blakiston. She plays Bess Sedgwick, and the style, her, her class, her style, her poise, the way she dresses, the way she talks, the way she wa everything in that, I want to be that woman, okay? I just, I want to be that woman. So watch Joan Hickson's uh, Miss Marple series, and particularly at Bertram's Hotel. And Poirot, my, I think my favorite Poirot would be Cards on the Table, which one, which is one of the latest ones, but it's about a game of bridge, 
which I don't play. <laughs> I, one of those things that I've always wanted to learn, but I never have. Um, but yes, I, I mean, I know the concept, you know, there's four people and several tables and they all have four people. And, you know, you take the, the, na the names of the cardinal points, north, south, west. That's as much as I know, okay? And you play with poker cards, but yes. Um, that one is my favorite Pajo, so I recommend those two for, to you, but in general, all of them. And last but not least, one later discovery, which you can find, I believe, on YouTube, is Agatha Raisin, uh, with this uh, Scottish actress also, which now the name escapes me, but again, I will put it here below. There's three seasons so far, and I just love it. And what I love about her, above all, is her sense of fashion. I mean, the woman, the way that she combines colors, because I, I really love color myself and I love combining colors, but this one, oh, it's just fantastic. And uh, very, very entertaining episodes, uh, very engaging, very funny, okay? So really, really recommend that one. And those are my favorite mystery series so far. I may do another one, uh, you know, of these videos in a little while if I find more that I like. Um, let me know if these are also your favorites and, you know, what you think of them or, you know, once you, if you watch any of them, what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for joining. Like and subscribe my channel and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.